lagging okay. Yes. Somebody think. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, you yeah, no problem. You can put it in the next uh, cell. How you need to the permit? You can make it for the iconic period. Okay, make it zero one. The one zero four make zero one. Next in this. Okay. Why is he okay? This way. There's a double dollar sign is coming from where? The double, this uh, double dollar sign. It's coming by F4 or F5? If you want to lock the cell. F4, F4 okay. Yes, okay, because there is a so, formula, yeah. manual formula. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you will use Excel to do the minus, right? Yes. The so system is, now. now you see it's uh, 482. Yeah. Okay, before it was 800 with the minus. Sorry? With the minus, how much was the figure? The same figure or different figure? Same, same figure. Yes, yes, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, ideally, what you should do, uh, you know, if you want to change budget, you make this be. And if you want to add, uh, uh, okay, we need to add T1 and T2, right? Yes. Uh, T1 is department? T1 is department, yes. Uh, so right click and filter and over here T1 uh, sorry T1 and this is T2 yeah. so you want uh, T2 T3 also T3 is there T, T2 is not there T2 is for okay. employees okay okay so then 
But will, will some will some some accounts will have tattoo or no? Nothing will have tattoo. Uh, there is with some yes with in the ex expenses part there is like uniform okay. so it has imply name a comma this has imply name okay then uh, there is no harm adding it you know because if you don't put anything there it will ignore it okay and then we filter this also so then you put this and t2 t2 Oh, this one. K3. K3. Okay. So it won't uh, change because uh, those don't have filter. Now, uh, this is actual month to date, right? Yes, yeah, this month to date, actually, yes. Uh, so do you just copy it, Control C? And paste it over here. Okay. And then you double click. Okay, recalculate. Okay. And accounting period, you hit on accounting period. Okay. And you put there should be something called year to or something. Year to date. Year to date, okay. And, uh, yes. It will take yeah. up to date. It will not take okay only from uh, month of Jan, month of Feb, like that. Like I'm uh, generating month no, of Feb. You have to do it manually. As in, uh, on top of Jan, maybe you can put uh, first 2019 and then link it to that side. No. But I think, you know, like if I'm generating month of Feb, okay, so it has to show me a year to date two, two months only. Sorry? Like if I'm, this is, general, this is the problem last per month of January. Yeah. Okay, but if I'm generating month of Feb uh, profit and loss, and I have to select year to date, so tell the year to date column it has to be January and February together. But if yeah. I put here year to date, okay, it, it's taking it by till month of April. You see uh, that? Yeah, no, wait, I will show you something. Mm -hmm. uh, I put this one. Okay. today plus zero and then after uh, plus zero we say Automatically take it from Jan and Feb. 
Jan and March. You don't need to go and buy the holiday. Okay. So, what you need to do is, you do one line. Okay? And yeah. after you do one line, you just drag and drop it. That's fine, okay. But this air do that, okay? Uh, yeah. Is it okay now? Yeah, it's okay now. But at the, okay, this month of January, okay. For example, if I'm putting here, okay, month of Feb. Why is it this? If I want to recalculate worksheet. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's, uh, there's an error here. I will say, 